Good day, everybody. Welcome to our tool webinar. In this session, I would like to go through some of the core functionality of our IT environment management solution. This solution consists of ecosystem for environment governance, measurement, and standardization, and its sister product, Visual Orchestrate, for cross lifecycle environment automation. So first of all, we go to the login page and enter our details. On logging in, the first thing we see is the master dashboard, a dashboard responsible for providing us with some executive environment insights, which includes, in the top section, the health of our E2E environments. In this example, I can see production is all green, that is, in operation. However, there are issues with the other environments. For example, I can see that user acceptance test has various system instances in alternative states, for example, in provisioning, in planned outage, and in unplanned outage. And on the right hand side, we have the active bookings in our environments. Below these, in the bottom section, we have a breakdown of upcoming events over the next 30 days, a breakdown of open service requests, and a pie chart showing percentage of run sheet tasks that are automated versus manual. Okay, so moving on, on the left-hand side, we have the navigation area, which shows you the key features available to you. Key functions include more IT environment management dashboards, including a view focused on all end-to-end -end activity, and another personal view focused on work assigned to yourself. For example, service requests, events, run sheets, and tasks. Environment Management Reports A release manager for tracking your enterprise releases and projects. A run sheet manager to build, standardize, and track your operations. Event Manager for scheduling activity and managing environment bookings. A Configuration Management Area, which includes Advanced Visual CMDB. And a Lean Service Manager for capturing change requests and incidents etc. From a best practice perspective, probably one of the most important aspects of IT environment management is knowledge management and knowing what your environments look like. Within Ecosystem, we support this objective through an advanced visual CMDB that promotes modeling and analyzing your environments from different and complementary perspectives. For example, we have an environment bill of materials view, a view that provides key system instance information like instance name, health, environment, version, and vendor details. Note that you can also filter, sort, and export this information as necessary. Alternatively, we may want to understand how our systems are distributed across the lifecycle. To achieve this, we can use the composition view. For example, by selecting GDW, Group Data Warehouse, we can see that it has instances in all environments except system test. We can also further explore any of these configuration items by simply selecting one and choosing the view option, an option that allows you to deep dive into the item and get more details, including subcomponent details, attached bookings, attached events, attached lean service requests, and technical specification or version details. Two other tabs worth particular mention are the knowledge base and orchestration tab. The knowledge tab allows you to attach knowledge widgets to your configuration items. For example, operation guides, system manuals, troubleshooting resources, and tutorials. While the orchestration tab allows you to bind automation to your resources. In the example of GDW SIT, we can see a number of automation methods already available to us. For example, build, deploy, and shakedown. And if I was to click on any of these items, or web hooks, it will awaken Visual Orchestrate, 
the sister automation product and transport us to the relevant area for automated script execution. As an example, if we select GDW, SIT, and Shakedown, Visual Orchestrate will take us to the relevant area in the automation tree. In this case, GDW, SIT, and Shakedown. So the automation can be accessed and easily executed. As a quick example of how Visual Orchestrate works. One, you simply select the script of interest. Two, you add it to the scheduler, that is, you execute it. Three, you await the completion and hopefully it returns green, meaning it was successful. And four, you can review the output logs as required. Note that the key philosophy of Visual Orchestrate is to provide a simple and single unified interface that is independent of the underlying technology being invoked. Ultimately, the aim of Visual Orchestrate is to allow different teams to build and share their automation and allow others to self-service the requirements. For example, run a script to check my test system is healthy. Note that it is also worth mentioning that Visual Orchestrate comes with advanced scheduling features for jobs that are better executed on a regular basis. For example, early in the morning when you are asleep. Independent of whether you run your automation on demand or you schedule it, orchestration is obviously a key area you want to promote and leverage as part of your improving environment management capability. In ecosystem, you can attach automation to virtually anything, including configuration items, events, services, and run sheets. Okay, in addition to knowledge management, another critical capability of IT environment management is both demand awareness and planning and coordination. Ecosystem supports the demand awareness requirement by allowing you to capture and track releases and projects and analyze this information in different ways. One such mechanism that supports this is the Release Master Scheduler. The master scheduler basically provides a centralized view of constituent projects, dates, dependencies, and also offers deep dive capabilities so you can review underlying project information and project system requirements. For example, what systems will project be? Code changing? Configuration changing? Or simply using the purpose of regression testing? Information that will ultimately support proactive decision making and timely environment operations. With respect to planning and coordination, Ecosystem has an event manager, which includes event calendars for each of your end-to-end -end environments. For example, development, system test, and user acceptance test environments. These calendars allow you to sensibly segregate your work by domain, allow you to schedule and communicate environment activities, like build, deploy, batch, and outages, and also support operational standardization and promote the concept of automation everywhere by allowing you to attach operational run sheets. In addition to the event calendar, another key planning and coordination mechanism within ecosystem is the booking manager. The booking manager allows you to manage and view your reservations from the perspective of the projects. FYI projects would typically have multiple bookings for different phases of the life cycle. Or your systems. A view that would make most sense if you are an asset owner or a system manager. Independent of which view you use, you can deep dive into the underlying bookings to identify the key booking information. For example, associated project, end-to-end -end environment, and system instances affected. In addition to project and system views, the ecosystem's booking manager allows you to identify whether there is likely to be resource contention through the instance demand matrix. A useful view that allows you to identify which project bookings are using which system instances during a particular release or time period and also how they are using them. For your information, usage is identified through color coding of the booking and instance cells. A red cell means that the booking is making an instance code change. An amber cell means configuration change. And 
a green cell means that instance is required for regression purposes only. A few other things to mention about the tool. One, Ecosystem comes with its own Lean Service Manager for organizations that don't have an IT service management solution inside non-production. And this can be used by developers and testers to raise bookings, batch requests, change requests, and log incidents, etc. Two, Ecosystem comes with its own run sheet management area, which allows the teams to start promoting consistent and standardized operations. And obviously, over time, look to replace manual tasks with automated alternatives. And three, Ecosystem also has facilities to manage your enterprise releases. Through the Enterprise Release Manager, you can better understand and track a release scope, that is, the constituent projects and constituent systems, and also visualize other important aspects, like the overall health of an enterprise release and the overall complexity. Last thing to cover off is status accounting and reporting. Within Ecosystem, there are a number of reports associated with IT environment management and enterprise release management. Key reports in the environment management space are usage reporting, availability reporting, booking reports, event reports, and service reports. Taking usage as an example, I can see how each system instance's usage profile for the last 12 months and the next 12 months. In this example, I can see that in my development environment, I have a system instance called SAS that has 0% usage historically and 0% going forward. In the real world, this would be a target for decommissioning and saving us some money. Another quick example is the availability report. By simply selecting an environment, for example, user acceptance testing, I can view which systems have been in operation most of the time and those that have not. Obviously, those that are spending most of their time in unplanned outage are a target for remediation. Okay, that's all I'm going to cover today. Thank you for your time. To recap, our solution is all about environment transparency, governance, measurement, operational standardization, and promoting automation everywhere. By improving in each of these areas, you will inevitably promote better development, test and operational productivity, and reduce your overall infrastructure, licensing, and IT spend, which ultimately translates into a compelling return on investment.